Yeah, hello, hello and welcome to this new video. I want to keep everything as simple and easy and nice to watch as possible. So no huge introduction. Let's hop straight into things. Maybe you can relate in this time of the year. It's hard to shoot film. Everything looks kind of wet and muddy and dirty outside. So I thought it may be the perfect time of the year to shoot black and white again. Therefore, we went out to this little almost forgotten um, village and yeah, time just passed by this, this little town and I brought my Nikon FM2 and I shot for the first time Kodak T-Max 400. So that's the view. And we parked just right there somewhere. Yep. It is planned that the sun usually when there are no clouds will rise up like over there. Yeah. But as you can see, no sunrise today. The whole idea of this morning was to just catch up again, take in some fresh air. It wasn't all about the photo outcome at all. Sometimes all you need is being outside with good company and just look for compositions with your camera. I think staying active in the colder days is very important because you are losing motivation very quickly. And therefore, we kept going, and it felt very good. As Joris was ready to take his first images on film, I was still unsure whether this was one of those days to just leave the camera untouched in the backpack and enjoy nature. I still haven't decided what film to shoot today and whether to shoot or not to shoot. But we will move forward now and maybe um, shooting film today. Can't decide between black and white and color film today because it looks a little bit clouded still. But maybe the sun will come through and then yeah, shoot some film. So hope for the best and yeah we will move on oh, the master is looking for something yes I'm looking what have you found Ooh, I see you. Big power line. I've brought my Nikon, my Nikon with me. The FM2 with a 35 millimeter lens. Here it is, nice and clean. I think it will not clear up today. So I didn't bring a tripod, so I think I have to shoot. <laughs> I think I have to shoot wide open anyway. Let's shoot some T-Max. And we're good to go. Let's shoot some film.
Okay, now we made it to the best composition around here, I guess. And I don't know whether I'm on private property, but um, this is the cabin you want to photograph. Yeah. Joris already extends his tripod. Yep, and I think. I shoot it from right here, from this perspective. And then over there, there are some cabins as well. But I'm not quite sure whether this is private property, so therefore um, I better hurry up and then move on. Double check your exposure. That's right. Ooh, this sound. So, bye bye horse, catch ya next time, we move on. <laughs> Beeil dich mal, bevor jemand aus dem Fenster guckt. Nailed it. Thirty-six frames of T-Max are done. Now I'm just rewinding the camera and then put everything in the bag and head off home. So let's do this first. Yeah. 
Juris is still looking for some compositions here on the soccer ground. He said he's kind of bored of shooting hoops as anybody is doing, so he's looking for new things right now. And here we are. Fully rewinded back into the canister. So we're done here and I think I see you guys back in the studio and catch you up then. So peace out. This was our little photo walk um, in black and white. I hope you liked it. And yeah, I really start to like uh, shooting 35 millimeter again, um, especially looking at the weight of a camera, um, comparing the Nikon to the Pentax. It's quite a huge, uh, huge difference. And yeah, maybe I will shoot some more of that in the future. But for now, go out, shoot film. Until next time.